This is from uh, worksheet 16.5, and um, on the front here, the examples I'm going to do are probably different than the examples that you did in class because you chose from a list of problems that you could use to create these specific problems. Um, but my, my example will probably look similar to yours, so you can use it um, as an example to do your problems. So in this example right here, we're taking two different problems from the problem set B. Um, in your class, you may have done it with different colors, different color cubes. So from this problem set, we have B1 times B2. So I'm going to choose two different expressions from this column. Um, for example, I could have fourth root of x to the third. And I'm going to choose another one, let's say sixth root of x squared. So here, when you're trying to multiply <coughs> two radical expressions by each other. Um, this is going to become a little bit easier if we changed each radical expression to an exponential um, with a fraction. So fourth root of x cubed is x to the 3 over 4. Sixth root of x squared is x to the 2 over 6. Now we can take the two exponents and add them together to get our final simplified answer. So 3 fourths plus 2 sixths. Here a common denominator is 12. So this is 13 over 12, which is my final exponent. You can leave your answer in fractional exponent form, or it's fine to also leave your answer in radical form. So either of these would be completely simplified. Let's look at uh, another one. So in this example, we're taking b. So b is any expression in this column here. <coughs> um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the very first one. And I'm taking that expression and raising it to a which is any of these numbers. So I'm just going to pick a random one here, negative 3, and then all of that to the exponent c. So that could be any of these numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and use 5. Okay. Um, here we have a radical to an exponent to another exponent. We know that if we have a power to another power, like right here, we can multiply those together. So this will become fifth root of x. And my new exponent after multiplying these is negative 15. So to completely simplify this, I'm going to change this to a fractional exponent, negative 15 over 5. That gives me x to the negative, negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. We don't want to leave our answer with a negative exponent, so with a negative exponent, we can do the reciprocal of the expression and change it to a positive 3. <coughs> All right, the last example I'm going to do is this one here, um, d to the a over e to the a. So I'm going to pick an expression from problem set d. Uh, for example, I'm just going to use this first one, x, y. And the exponent is anything from column a. So let's go ahead and use negative 4. Expression from column e, so that would be um, any of these. So I'm just going to pick y. And a is the same exponent I used right there. So if we were to simplify this, each of these is raised to the negative fourth. The denominator is also to the negative fourth. You'll notice that here the numerator and denominator for the y's are exactly the same. So I'm going to cancel those out. We're left with x to the negative fourth. That's equivalent to 1 over x to the fourth. 